So I'm here with my eBay laser, and I call it that because obviously I bought it from eBay. Uh, you could also call it the China laser because it's from China. And I wanted to address a few things. I've had a lot of questions on my first video, the unboxing and uh, quick look video. But I get a lot of questions, and I haven't done a video since my first one, and it's just because I'm no expert. Every day I use this, I'm learning, so uh, I didn't feel like I wanted to share everything because I don't know everything or much of anything. But I do use this thing quite a bit for engraving on boxes and pens and things. But uh, I wanted to address a couple quick things that I've gotten repeat questions on or comments on. Uh, I've had four or five people call me with a couple other things. So uh, just a few quick notes if you've bought one of these or you're buying one. Probably the biggest question or concern I, I've gotten is I plug it in and I turn it on and there's just nothing. And the first thing I always say is check your emergency stop. This button, when it's depressed, you have to twist it to turn it on. And I don't think anybody looks at that because at least five times I've said that and that was the problem. So people are turning it on, nothing happens, but when they twist the emergency stop, everything powers up. So that's generally the problem with mine when I put the, I have a cover for it. When I put the cover on it, it presses down on that, shuts it all down. So just check that if you are having that problem. The next thing is the language. Um, some of you have said that yours is in Chinese or some other language. I've looked all over my display. I can't find how to change the language, so I'm sorry I can't help you there, but uh, I have looked. Uh, a couple of quick other things. So a few other things are these locations. Unfortunately, I can't pull this out right now because it's on wheels that only go one direction, but anyways, this is where your air pump and your water pump plug in. So you run them around and plug them in there, and then the switches for those are all right here on the switch panel. So once that's set up, you don't have to move it uh, or go back there to turn them off and on. You just turn it on right here. Now your USB cord, from your computer plugs in here, and that way it's kind of out of the way. At my old shop, my garage, the first day or two that I had this, I tripped on the cord because it was stretched across, and I actually broke that. So I had to kind of dive into this panel, which I can't open all the way, but uh, I had to pull off some of the shrouding and covers and replace that USB cord. Turns out it wasn't a big deal, it's like a $6 cord. Uh, and it was much easier than I thought, so luckily that worked out. But that's where all the electronics are, the cables, the plugs, the wires. But it's nice that once everything's plugged in, you have your panel here for all your buttons. This is the operations panel, I guess you'd call it. I don't know what else. Uh, basically, it just shows you can move your axis. You can change a couple things. If you preload your programs for cutting into this, this is where they'd be. Um, also, you have your emergency stop, your pulse for checking your laser, where it's hitting, uh, and a couple other things. And then, of course, there's that emergency stop button. Looking inside, you're gonna see the red LED where it points, where the laser will be. I believe it's an LED. And then, of course, a uh, little fluorescent here at the back, which I haven't had any problem with that, so I haven't added any more light. Now on the panel here, you can move, let's see if I can show it. You can move the axis with the panel here if you want to set a certain position for cutting. So that is a nice option. So those are just a couple quick things. If you have any other questions or concerns, please post them in the comments and I'll see if I can answer them as I move along. In the next video, I'm gonna show you the software because uh, that was probably my biggest obstacle to overcome was getting the software to work, first of all, and then figuring out the, the transfer, because I have no background in this kind of stuff. It was all new to me, uh, kind of low tech. So I will show you that in the next video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching.